Bastet the kitten was just rescued. But she's not very happy about it. Careful, Jaina, she is not kidding. A few hours ago, Jaina had gotten a call about a stray kitten trapped in a hole in someone's yard. The hole was deep and hard to get into. Jaina had to wiggle and struggle until finally she spotted her. Tiny Bastet, all alone, covered in dirt and soaking wet, looking really lost and scared. Jaina reached as far as she could to pull Bastet out. But the further she reached, the more dirt would fall in. She got worried the hole might collapse. She'd have to try something else. So she placed some food into the hole, hoping to lure Bastet out. Bastet seemed scared of Jaina, but she was hungry too. Hungry enough to inch towards the food where Jaina could reach her. As quick as she could, Jaina scooped Bastet into a net and learned just how scared the poor kitten was. Bastet growled and hissed all the way to the carrier. Jaina and the other rescuer barely got her inside of it. When they brought her home, Bastet seemed even more upset. It's okay, it's okay. She didn't want anyone touching her at all. Bastet clearly didn't like people, but Jaina and the others realized there was more going on here. Bastet wasn't moving her back legs. They seemed broken, which meant Bastet's grumpiness wasn't just from feeling scared. She was also hurting really badly. Jaina wasn't sure they could fix Bastet's legs, but she and the others could make her feel better. They gave her some medicine to soothe her aches. Then a nice bath to get all that dirty water off. For the first time, Bastet seemed calm. It was like she could finally tell that maybe, just maybe, these people were here to help her. Jaina knew Bastet might not be able to walk again. But to give her the best chance at recovery, Bastet needed to rest as much as possible. So Jaina started carrying Bastet around, anywhere and everywhere. What are you guys doing? This helped Bastet's legs heal, but it also got her used to being around humans. Bastet seemed confused at first, but little by little, she warmed up to Jaina. I mean, how is this even the same cat Jaina found in that hole? All the while, Jaina made sure to keep Bastet's legs moving with some light stretching. Until one day, look! Bastet bent her knees all on her own. Jaina couldn't believe it, but she started to hope. Maybe Bastet would walk again one day. Right away, they got to work. Jaina would hold Bastet up with her hands and a little harness so she could practice standing on her own four paws. Come on, Bastet, you can do it. You gotta stand before you can walk. They practiced and practiced until one morning, Jaina woke up to see this. Bastet was back on her feet. This is amazing. And once she got the hang of that, it wasn't long before she started to walk again. Slowly at first, but soon, Bastet could run and even jump. It was almost like her accident had never happened. Jaina was so happy. Not just that Bastet could move again, but because Bastet seemed happy too. She wasn't scared or sad anymore. She'd become a loving, sweet kitten who was always ready for a snuggle. In a way, Jaina had rescued Bastet twice because it wasn't just Bastet's legs that had healed. It was her heart too. Behold, I am Raggedy. And I am an extremely wild kitty. You think you're gonna like it here? Let me pet you. Okay, okay. And I intend to stay this way forever. I've spent my whole life outside, but a certain someone thinks she rescued me. Ooh, look at that face. This girl's about as grumpy as they come. That's right, grumpy and wild for life. You're so cute. She lets me touch her head. What are you doing? Get that finger away from me. Ugh, fine, but you're lucky I'm in this blanket. 
Does anyone else hear that noise? Anyway, don't get too excited. I'm still as wild as they come. Ooh, she looks messy. Okay, petting is one thing, but I don't do baths. Are you saying I'm dirty? How dare you? You know cats can bathe themselves, right? Right? You don't have to do this. What's happening to me? And why is this water turning brown? Am I melting? You did so good, Raggedy Ann. Oh. It's okay. You're okay. Everything's gonna be fine. That was the worst. But I do smell pretty good. And I'm still wild. In fact, I'm out of here. Wait, don't go anywhere. Now what? A brush? Just, just stop. Okay, enough. <sighs> Do you hear something? It's that noise again. Is, is that noise coming from inside me? Is this what happiness sounds like? <laughs> Impossible! Look at this. Ow! Yeah. Okay, this was all very nice, but I'm still wild. I'm going back outside. Right after two more minutes. Eat your food, girlfriend. You want to feed me? Uh-uh, no way. I catch my own food. Mm -mm, I'm not gonna go away. Fine. It does smell pretty good. You let me pet you? I'll allow it. But know this, I will never play with your ridiculous toys. That's where I draw the line. Woo! Yippee! Woohoo! Do it again! Again! Over here! You saw nothing. Don't judge me. I hope you're satisfied. You've tried to convince me to live indoors for weeks. But I remain the most wild of cats. Observe. As I climb into your warm bed, snuggle, and demand more petting. Oh, look at that. Oh my goodness. This is a big deal. Wait a second. Am I a cute little sweetie? <sighs> okay, okay. I am raggedy, and I'm still pretty wild. But I also like people. I actually kind of love them. In fact, I like people so much, I'm gonna let this special person adopt me. What are you looking at? Don't make me purr at you. the kittens find the subscribe button.